Good afternoon and welcome to Behind the Headlines. I'm Lance Williams, business editor here at the Tennessean, joined today by Chambers Williams, uh, automotive reporter here at the Tennessean. Been a busy morning already. Very busy. <laughs> um, uh, in case you haven't read the headlines, uh, GM has uh, announced a pretty major expansion uh, here at the Spring Hill plant and uh, we thought we'd bring Chambers on to talk a little bit about what this means and kind of uh, a look behind the numbers. Chambers, can you give us kind of the the rundown of what the, what's happening out there? Well, uh, making good on a promise that um, the GM made to the United Auto Workers Union in uh, summer of 2011 when they were in negotiations for a new national contract. Uh, GM is bringing back uh, full production on the vehicle assembly line at Spring Hill. Um, they added um, the Equinox uh, small or mid-sized crossover last summer in limited production. But what they've announced today is they're further expanding the assembly line and going to uh, to follow through and, and spend the full $350 million that they promised earlier to uh, add an additional two vehicles. Uh, they they didn't say what the two vehicles were today, but uh, uh, we found out from, from analysts that they probably will be uh, the next generation of the Cadillac SRX, which is a mid-size crossover. It's built on the same chassis as the Equinox and also a new Buick mid-size crossover built on that same architecture that's probably going to be called the Anthem and um, GM is not confirming those those vehicles but that's that's what analysts are saying uh, are destined for the plant. And, and crossovers are, are um, pretty big sellers right now is that, is that what the market looks like? Yeah beyond your, your typical mid-size sedan crossovers are the biggest selling vehicles on the market in fact uh, pardon the pun, but they've been driving GM's uh, uh, sales gains this year. Uh, the Equinox in particular has been really big. And uh, all of the four-cylinder versions of the Equinox are now made in Spring Hill. The Spring Hill assembly line closed at the end of December or November 2009, right after GM's bankruptcy, uh, when production of the full-size uh, Chevy Tr uh, Traverse crossover was moved to Lansing, Michigan. And the the assembly line was mothballed and put on standby. Uh, under that labor agreement that the union ratified in September of 2011, that assembly line was reopened last year, like I said, for limited production uh, of the Equinox, but they had promised these two additional vehicles. Uh, there are now 2,002 employees at Spring Hill. This would add uh, about 1,800 more. And, and I understand that uh these jobs may be a little different than some of the uh, some of the growth that this plan has seen in the past. Uh, I guess because of what's happening with the, the UAW workforce. That's that's the, probably the biggest news for us is when that plant opened, uh, it was the Saturn plant, and most of the workers were, or almost all of the workers were transferred in from other um, GM locations, uh, United Auto Workers uh, employees who had or, or members who had been laid off or. Uh, furloughed and they they were able to choose you know to come to Tennessee and work but very few local jobs were provided by that plant and that's been pretty much its history now though they're saying that m most of the displaced UAW workers have been uh, rehired all over the country and they're going to hire new people from the local workforce here to uh, to staff this plant and that's 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 good news for us because, you know, it's always been transplants from Michigan or, or wherever. Gotcha. Well, and, and one other question, you know, looking at one of the things that, that's always interesting about automotive jobs is it's not just the job at the plant, but um, tell us a little bit about, you know, what happens with, with other companies that, that uh, well, spin in, out. You know, in, in normal manufacturing, uh, there's a multiplier effect when a manufacturing plant opens for each job that the manufacturing plant provides directly, there are two other jobs provided in the community from support uh, or, uh, companies. Um, with the automotive industry, that multiplier is much bigger. It's between six and a six, six and six and a half jobs created outside the plant for each direct job that GM is bringing. So what this does, it brings more auto suppliers to the area. We already have a bunch of them. Uh, uh, in the Spring Hill area, those those companies will be getting some of the work, but there will, there will be other suppliers coming to town who will be hiring as well. Okay. All right, great. Well, Chambers has been very helpful, and um, 
very useful information. Uh, we encourage you to check out uh, throughout the day on Tennessean.com for more updates uh, as news develops on this major expansion. Uh, also check out tomorrow's print edition for the full story uh, along with the, uh, a look at the economic impacts uh, for the surrounding community there in Spring Hill. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us uh, and have a great afternoon.